nothing great at all. Holy be Jesus. This is terrible. This is a terrible set. Oh, we could pull something pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. Yes. No. Maybe. Well, what's up, guys? And welcome. Welcome to another epic unboxing. Of course, me solo here right now, Talos with the latest and greatest packs. Well, greatest, maybe not, <laughs> but definitely the latest for sure. But uh, it is gonna be the uh, Valiant Smashers. We got 10 of these packs, plus to throw in the better pack of the generation, at least 2023 is of course. I have two, two of these to kind of uh, kind of wrap up the video right now. But this is the latest pack to come out. Only one pack design. Uh, already, already a, a bad start to the, the the tail end of 2023. Does the pack suck? Does the pack not? I don't know. We'll find out. Yeah, I guess without further ado, let's get started. So basically, Valiant Smashers is a small 60 card set. Uh, 15 of which will be in collector's rare variants and I think three selected cards will be part of the quarter century variant. Now, TG Player for some reason is not listing out the prices as of this moment because it is like a few days before actual release date. But regardless, we're gonna go ahead and open these and uh, see what we get. Seven cards. Let's sadu this. All right, guys. I guess uh, we we'll select for luck. Now, now, real quick, as, I, as I'm opening these packs real quick, um, obviously Liam right now, he is sick and unable to be in this video right now. He's taking care of uh, some more uh, personal stuff with his um, health and whatnot. Um, so it's just gonna be solo for me. Um, so definitely wish him the best of health. Uh, this is a seven card setup. I believe it's possibly two to the front. We can always adjust as needed. Uh, but uh, I think I might have did it wrong, but we'll see. Uh, Angel of Silra. Rare. Uh, the Stained Glass of Light and Dark. Also rare. So uh, pretty much what... The reason why is the collector's set is because of all the, uh, you know, the rare cards. And you have that one higher value card. And it could, it could be any any of the witch that you want. The Swamp Didi. And we have a... Uh, a super rare here, so I did the card trick wrong, but it's fine. It's fine. Uh, we have the there were only one rare, the Imperium Custom, and of course that super rare, cute card. Not gonna lie, it's uh, Angelo uh, Valmakina. Maya, yeah. Price if I if I have it right there listed. All right. Yeah, I think TCG, they, they recently did like a, a weird update in their website. So now it looks hella different, um, especially on uh, mobile devices. I think I think it might be in desktop too as well, but I don't know. I like it. It modernizes a little bit, but at the same time, I, I, I'm, I'm all about, you know, keeping what works. Uh, let's see here. Let's try four. I think that was the one. All right, we have the Fractor Dance. Now, I, I'm, I'm a big like uh, think believer of these like collector's rare cards, like or collector rare sets, I should say. Um, they haven't been good at all. They haven't been very good at all. So I'm very curious to see this is if this is gonna suck or not. And um, I don't know, let me know in the comments down below how you guys feel about this set. Especially coming out from a great set like the Rarity Collection. I feel like this is not going to be fantastic at all. Uh, but we're going through it to see. Maybe it will surprise us. Um, we have the uh, Val Valmokina... Monica? Valmonica? Um, Versace? 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 <laughs> is, that right? is that right? Price of course. Across my face. All right, next pack here. Actually, um, let's go and uh, let's do uh, one of the rarity collection ones because obviously this is the set that was really the one that was really excited for 2023. I think it's honestly the, the best set of 2023 and I hope they release more of these, but not too often because as a collector, it does actually lower the value of a lot of cards. 
Um, I talked about this numerous times in other videos, but it's definitely not the the best set to just constantly like repeat and you know uh, uh, what's the word looking for uh, reprint cards and stuff like that. But it's definitely one of the better ones. What is a new one to my collection? But it's only a super rare of the Egyptian God Slime. Very very cool. And we have a secret rare of the Mass Hero Dark Law. I'm not sure if I got that variant yet. We have the Spell Book of Judgment. I know for a fact I got a lot of those rares. The Call by the Gray. Oh, this is a the an ulti. Yeah, it's an ulti. Oh yeah, I'll look at that price in a moment. And to finish it off is the uh, Vision Hero Ferris, super rare only. But yeah, this ulti, this is actually a nice one. Um, so we have the Call by the Grave. Oh yeah, that's a beautiful ulti. You can tell how, how, uh, how it shimmers and glides and feels. See, that? this is why this is the better set of the two, for sure. We'll save the final of the uh, um, 20th anniversary for later. Let's go back into some of Variant Smashers. It's also a terrible name. I don't know. I don't know about you guys, but the name Variant 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 <laughs> Variant Smashers just doesn't sound right. It's like, what are you smashing? Like, like really, really now? Okay, one, two, three, four. Probably just put two to the back. It's probably easier. Uh, Valhalla Hall of the Fallen. The Mementolan Horn Dragon, I guess. We have Honest, the Honest Monster. We have the uh, uh, Memento M Michelin, I guess. The Foolish Burial, that's a classic card, I think. The Dark Honest, so yeah, we have the Dark Honest card. And we get another super rare of Valmonica Follow the Rhythm. Uh, not the sexiest card, probably not even the sexy price, but that's the price right there. All right, but yeah, guys, definitely, definitely the closing of 2023. Is that the great? I think there's like one more set, like more like a structure deck, I believe, coming out for for Yu-Gi-Oh. But uh, let's just do two to the back. Um, yeah, I think there's only one more set coming out. Like it was more like a structure deck. So I'm not even sure if I, I plan on doing an unboxing of it. At least not right away, because we do have other videos planned out for the rest of December. Um, and I and I actually also want to talk about it real quick since I'm, I'm here with you guys. Um, I do want to mention that I kind of want to bring back some more verses. I do miss uh, doing verses, whether it be like Pokemon versus Yu-Gi-Oh or Yu-Gi-Oh pack versus another Yu-Gi-Oh pack and stuff like that. Um, but I definitely want to go, go back to those. Um, so we have another super rare here, uh, Momentalan Mace. Cute little card. Cute little card. Is what? It's a fairy type. Okay. So far we, have, we haven't put anything exciting at all from this set, but th that's kind of to be expected. I wasn't really excited for this set at all, and the fact that it came out two weeks after the Rarity Collection kind of gave, gave like a little sore spot for me. So I, I, wanted, I wanted to like do a lot more Rarity Collection videos, and the fact that they released this one so soon kind of, uh, kind of irks me. It irks. We have some more Valhalla the Fallen. The Imperium Custom. Momentum Lan uh, Cremium Burst. Also, by the way, too, guys, uh, this, this video probably won't be um, like edited very well, only because I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm processing the moving in. So you guys probably saw some of the pictures I posted and uh, on the on the community posts. And, um, and uh, if you guys follow me on Instagram, it might be more there that, you know, we're, we're pretty much moving and whatnot. So a lot of my uh, recording stuff is actually still um, kind of, uh, you know, uh, packed up and whatnot. So we need to do a lot more unpacking. I'm recording right now pretty much. Well, I've, to you guys, I'm like, oh, you just recording back in this car. But editing wise, it's going to be a lot harder for me because I can't actually access a lot of my, uh, 
my equipment there for um, for editing. Um, and I'm also I have issues with like my Wi-Fi and whatnot, so I'm not able to actually do a lot of things. Um, so th the edits for this one is probably going to be super simple for the most part. I might have some animations happening. You probably already noticed this already nine minutes in from this recording, but um, definitely not much editing involved. Um, just so I can get a, a quick video out, guys, for this week because it has been uh, you know, a little late in the game. But hope you guys enjoy it nonetheless. And I thank you guys so much for the view. Uh, we have Telephone. It's a classic card. Classic. Advanced draw. Momentum Goblin. Goblin. Uh, we have the Heinous Hollow. I, I, I can't even see what's happening in this card. What is that supposed to be? <laughs> I don't know. I'll have to look at it a little bit more closely, uh, like on my own time, but another super rare there. Um, the Dual Luna, Val the Val Hall Hel <laughs> Helven Hollow. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. But if, if you guys do like this set and want to see more of it, let me know. Uh, maybe we'll do like a, a retrospective video, like, um, oh, how, how's the set like? a month later or a year later whatever the case is um, I, I tend to do those videos a lot more often so to see uh you know get some more retrospect on like you know revisit these these packs we have the dogs uh, dog ghost sister and spooky dogwood so kind of a like a almost like a halloweeny feel to it but they should have released this more in halloween not in november call of the haunted another halloweeny like card Angel of Zera. Zera. The Stained Glass. Momento Backbone. The Drago Berserker of Tinyi. And another super rare of the Sentry Ion Fa Phalix, I think. Wow, nothing great at all. <laughs> Holy be Jesus. This is terrible. This is a terrible set. Why did he even make this? They should have held. Honestly, they should have held off to like maybe December um, for for this set because, uh, because a lot of December sets are usually not the really greatest sets. Um, but uh, I don't know. We'll see. You know, kind of give some breathing room to like the rarity collection. All right. Okay. The Horn Dragon. It's, it's also a very small set. Only sixty cards. Um, so we're gonna see a lot of repeats very very quickly. The Cranium Blurs, the Christial, the Foolish Barrier, the Gravity Collapse, and another super rare of the Domino Valmonica Veil Monica. Vale, Monica? I don't know. Something like that. All right, we got two more of these packs. Guys, just press a like, like for luck, you know. You, you never know. We could pull something pretty amazing. Pretty amazing, yes, no, maybe. <laughs> Or three to the back, depending on your perspective. All right, we have the the dogwood again. There, there can only be one. Only one. The colossal fighter. The uh, um, uh, abominable unchained soul. The synchro transmission. Momentum backbone. And another super rare stand up. The centering on this car is terrible as well. Top to bottom, left to right. It's all jacked up centering. But it's a stand up guy though. Stand up guy with terrible centering. All right, so it's definitely gonna be a more quicker video for sure. All right, we have two packs left. Obviously we're gonna, we're gonna try to fish. Let's fish with this one, uh, even though it's not the greatest of sets. Let's, let's just finish because it is the theme of today's unboxing is the Valiant Smashers. So we will at least try to finish it off with the Valiant Smashers. 
but we'll see what we get here because uh, if we get something cool on this set, like it'll definitely smash Valiant Smashers out the park. All right, uh, let's see. I think there's a card trip to this. Maybe one to the front. All right. A super rare of the Ghost Bell in the Haunted Mansion. Super rare of the Chained of Hearts. We get a secret rare of Pot of Prosperity. So that's already going to be the main card right there. A super rare, uh, sorry, ultra rare of the Iris Soul Sword. And we finish it off with a uh, ultra rare of the Junk Speeder. So yes, that Pot of Prosperity is probably going to be a decent price. Decent price. All right, guys, final pack, final pack. We didn't pull any ultra rares at all. No collector's rares and definitely no quarter century rares. What a terrible set, terrible set. I don't know. Maybe you guys pull something great. Let, let me know in the comments down below what you pulled. But um, yeah, nothing great on my end. Unless we can pull something strong at the final pack magic. We get the Protecting Spirit Log Logath. Call of the Haunted yet again. Performer Pal Trick Clown. The Colossal Failure, I mean Colossal Fighter. <laughs> the Dark Honest. The Momentum Goblin. And a super rare to finish off. This set is the Dark Blade. Wow, what a terrible set. If it wasn't for the quarter century rares, uh, sorry, uh, the um, the uh, the ulti there that I, got, I pulled for the 25th anniversary as well as the uh, Plot of the Prosperity, this, this set would have been a hot dud, a hot dud. But definitely let me know in the comments down below how you guys feel about this set. Do you guys like it? Do you guys hate it? Do you guys wish it never came out? <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below. And I guess thank you guys so much for the view. And uh, obviously there's more videos coming out in 2023 to kind of wrap everything up. Uh, we have some exciting packs coming up and coming down. So definitely get excited, get stuff for that. Thank you so much for the view yet again. Uh, Liam should hopefully be back, hopefully soon. Um, like obviously we'll you know give it some time off and kind of rest up and recoup and all that good stuff. So we love you, Liam. We'll definitely see you in the near future. And for you guys, I'll definitely see you next time. My name is Talos. And of course, that my boy is Mr. Bear out there in the wilderness or probably at home, more than likely. But see you guys next time. Peace.